everybody and welcome back to a new video. It's Mike here with Mike's Drones and More. This is just a really quick video. I normally don't do videos on Saturday, but uh, today we're going to pick the random winner um, of the comments for the sunglasses that were in the uh, drone drop box. So these are for the uh, Strix um, sunglasses. So uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do really quick here is I'm going to pull up my YouTube page and let me go ahead and get the link. Here we go. And um, I use a program called um, YouTube Random Comment. So I'm going to go ahead and put the uh, link in there. And then I'm going to go ahead and hit start and pick a winner. Okay. And I just have to make sure that they are eligible to win. All right. And <laughs> when you know it, actually, the, the person that won, I it, this is completely random. I'll show you the guys to the screen here. In just a second but it's kite fpv um kite fpv is one of the fpv guys that i fly with um for the multi gp um drones i fly with him with the uh, tiny whoops and the five inches so um yeah that's cool so i actually know kite um which is really cool so hold on guys here i'm gonna switch the uh screen around for you so you can see all right there you go and as you can see there is our winner kite fpv so kite you are the winner <clears throat> of the uh, sunglasses buddy so um i will keep these for you and at our next tiny whoop race or depending on the weather tomorrow on sunday we may race or not and my plans and everything i have to go pick up my dad at the airport he's flying back in from las vegas um so um, i may or may not be there i don't know it just depends on the schedule and everything but definitely at the tiny whoop race i'll bring these along with me and then uh, hopefully we can do our um, our interview with Kite FPV as well. Hey Rob, how's it going? Hey Al, how's it going? Dwayne Ball, how's it going? <coughs> Excuse me, guys. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, so oh, and uh, Rob, thank you for the or uh, two donated the ten dollars. Was that? Hold on, give me one second here, guys. So somebody just donated ten dollars to my chat. So hold on, I wanted to see who that was. I'm bringing up the uh, live video here. Uh, come on. My channel. Oh, come on. There we go. Let me mute my computer so I don't hear myself. There we go. So Dwinnable, thank you so much for the $10 super chat. You are freaking awesome, guy. I appreciate that. And uh, you know what I'll do for you, Dwinnable? Um, um, uh, after the video, uh, send me an email to Mike's Drones and More, um, or not Mike's Drones and More, Mike's Drones More at gmail.com, and I will send you um, a private, um, a private, uh, um, God, I can't talk, I'm sorry. Uh, I will send you a private link to tomorrow's Patreon only QA, so you'll have access to that. Um, so thank you so very, very much. I, I appreciate that. I've never had a super chat donation before. So thank you so much, guys. That is freaking awesome. So um, I really appreciate that. Thank you. Um, uh, I can't say enough. Thank you. <laughs> I really appreciate that. Um, so anyway, again, so uh, Kite FPV was um, the winner of the sunglasses. Again, I know him personally. I fly with him in Fort Collins and um, we chat pretty often. He's one of my good FPV buddies, and uh, hopefully I'm going to be doing a uh, video with him. Um, getting ready to go down to Boulder, Colorado today. Um, we have some shopping and things to do, and I got some new props that I ordered from GetFPV.com. If you haven't checked out GetFPV, check it out, guys. They got all kinds of super cool like um, FPV stuff um, there that you can get for like pretty decent prices. I ordered a set of uh, um, two sets of props. Um, and I ordered a new um, tiny whoop frame. I'm building uh, another new tiny whoop on top of the other one that I already have. Um, so just, uh, and also, oh, guys, um, if you're in Colorado, um, I'm going to try and live stream this next month. But February 20th, I'm going to be um, going to a drone race. Now, it's not a multi-GP race, but it's um, a race that is um, sponsored by Tiny Whoop. And I forget the other company. It's the company you guys always see those pictures of the gates in my videos, you know, the LED ones. So it's tinywhoop.com and 
the uh, company that makes those gates. Um, they're con um, basically collaborating for a uh, drone race um, over in Greeley, Colorado. It's at the Moxie Theater. So if you guys are in Colorado um, and you're close to Greeley um, or anywhere in that area and you want to come maybe meet me, watch the race, it's free for spectators to be there that night. Uh, it's on February 20th, so it's, I think it's like a Tuesday or a Wednesday night. I can't remember. Let me pull up my calendar. Uh, yeah, it's on a Tuesday night. So, But, um, yeah, we'll be racing there, um, and I'll be racing my Tiny Whoops. Um, I've got a new 75-millimeter Tiny Whoop that I just finished building. I raced that last week, and it was actually really good. So I'm going to be sharing that with you guys this coming up week. And I ordered a new frame. I ordered the cockroach frame. Um, so it's basically it's the same exact size as the Fury B frame. It's just a lot lighter and more durable and stronger. So I'm going to be building a new uh, Tiny Whoop based on that. So I'm really looking forward to that. I want to do something really customized that looks really freaking cool. So, um, oh, and hold on just one second. I'm going to grab something here. So while I'm in Boulder uh, today, like I said, I'm... Uh, taking the B fight out with me. Um, I got these Lumineer um, new props. They're five by five by threes and they're called uh, butter cutters. Now these aren't the original um, ones that came on with the B fight. They came with the gem fans, but I really saw these and I thought they looked freaking cool. As you can kind of see, like they're not real super sharp, but they're more of a rounded. So I want to see if it gives me more of like a smooth flight. Um, that way I can do some turns and stuff like that. Um, so yeah, so I'm going to be testing that out today. I know I have a subscriber in Boulder, Colorado. So if you happen to watch this video, I'm going to try and go through the comments and find you. Um, if you want to meet up in Boulder today and, um, maybe we can do a quick meetup and, um, I can fly the drone, bring your drone with you. I'm, I forget which one he has. I think he's got the Promark GPS drone, but, um, if you want to meet up, We'll meet up with him. I also have another subscriber that's out of Lafayette. I haven't forgot about you. Um, I've just been so busy with everything and with my freaking uh, bronchitis. Um, you know, it's been really hard. But, um, yeah, so we got some videos coming up this week. Um, and, actually, I got a new collaboration um, with another RC company called RC Moment. Um, I've done some stuff for them in the past. Um, the Blue Crab that we gave away over Christmas that was one of the ones that they sent me to review. So they actually are sending me um, a new drone. I'm not sure which one it is, but they wanted me to review it. I think it's just a toy drone. It's probably not a racing drone, but, um, you know, I figured, hey, I haven't done a review in like two months now. Um, and, you know, it was kind of funny, too. Um, I got contacted by somebody else over at GearBest, not my contact that I worked with before. And they wanted to know if I wanted to collaborate together. And so I said, sure, you know, I said, I wouldn't mind. But I told him, I was like, I've already worked with GearBest in the past. And they told me that if basically what it boiled down to is I wasn't making enough sales. So they told me if I don't make at least a thousand dollars or more in sales a month, that they're not going to send me any product to review. Now, my channel is not even that big, guys. Uh, I mean, I've got I'm looking three thousand, almost three thousand four hundred subscribers, right? And I can't make everybody buy everything, you know. I mean, I'm not, I don't have a big channel like Quadcopter 101 or UAV Futures or um, any of the other big guys out there that do a lot of drone reviews. And uh, doing $1,000 a month in sales on toy drones just is insane. There's no way I could keep up with that. And um, I'm going to give you guys my honest opinion on my stuff. So if I think it's a piece of junk and um, I don't like it, I'm not going to throw it down your, your throats and make you want to buy it. Um, I'm not going to make you waste your money on it. Now, if I think it's a decent, like, beginner drone, something that's, you know, kind of fun, inexpensive you can buy just to kind of get into the hobby, I'll say, yeah, I think it's a it's an okay beginner drone. It's kind of cool, you know. Uh, but, uh, you know, I'm going to give you my honest opinion. Um, you know, I don't care if they send me, you know, a, a $200 drone or if they send me a, a $10 drone. I'm going to give you my opinion. Because it's you guys' money, and uh, you guys depend on me to give you an unbiased opinion. So, um, yeah, that was kind of a little irritating with GearBest. Um, like I said, uh, maybe if they come up with something different, another kind of collaboration, you know, maybe I might work with them again. I'm really trying to work with Banggood. 
um, cause Banggood has been really good with me. Um, but I have to reach 5,000 subscribers first before that. So, um, that's their minimum requirement. So hopefully I can reach that. Um, and I also got, um, contacted by a company called BBTV or, uh, broadcast, what was it broad, broadband, uh, television. Basically it was a, it's a network or it's an MCN, which is a multi, uh, multi-channel network. So they promote several different channels and things like that. Um, and they wanted to um, basically bring me into the network to help promote my videos and my channel and things like that. Um, but I decided not to because uh, it for me it wasn't worth it. I mean, I have a it's not a small channel, but it's not a big channel. I'm kind of somewhere in the middle uh, to me. So um, I decided not to go with it. Plus. They wanted to take, um, now they give you all kinds of tools like uh, thumbnail creators and uh, free royalty, free music and all kinds of stuff that you can use. Um, but I can find that on the web and through YouTube and I can use those tools myself. Um, and, and they wanted to take a big chunk of my profit. So I don't make that much money as it is on YouTube. Um, but what little money I do, I put right back into the channel. You guys know that by buying drones and parts and um, you know, getting more equipment as much as I can. So I decided not to do that because they wanted to do a 60-40. And I was like, 60-40, I don't know if I'm willing to give up 40% of my, my little bit profit that I do make, 40%, that's almost, that's almost half of what I make, um, just to say that they're gonna promote my network. And I'm just not gonna do that. You know, maybe if I was a bigger channel, um, you know, that might be different. You know, I might be able to take that risk, but being a smaller YouTuber, which I don't have a huge channel, um, I'm just not gonna do that. So, you know, I don't know. That's just my, my opinion on that. So, but uh, but anyway, um, I just wanted to make a really quick video. It ended up being longer, sorry, but um, I wanted to give Dwinnable his uh, $10 worth of uh, video. So thank you again, Dwinnable, you are awesome. Thank you so much, I very much appreciate it. And again, after the video, make sure to send me an email to mikesdronesmore at gmail.com. That's my main Gmail, or it's my main email address for my company. And then uh, make sure you, uh, I'll have your email in there. And then what I'll do is uh, we're going to do a video probably tomorrow around, hopefully depending on, uh, like I said, I have to pick my dad up at the airport. So depending on my schedule and everything, I'm hoping later in the afternoon around 2 or 3 o'clock. So, um, for the patrons, so that will be Rob Ruth, Steven Taylor, and then also Dwinnable will get access to that this week because of the donations. So thank you very much for that. I appreciate that. Wanted to give something back to you. And, um, also, you know what, I'll throw in a shout out next week to you, Dwinnable, um, for, uh, doing a, uh, a donation. Yeah. Mountain time. Sorry. I always forget. Everybody's all around the country. Mountain standard time. So it is like five minutes to one o'clock here in Colorado. So I hope that helps. So Eastern Standard Time, I think they are, I think they're two hours ahead of me. And Pacific Standard Time, California is like an hour or two hours behind. I don't know. And I have to look on the computer and Google it. <laughs> so, but um, yeah, so uh, tune in for that tomorrow, guys. Um, like I said, we'll be doing a uh, Patreon only okay rob says two hours okay good all right awesome i always forget the time zones because everybody's different yeah well yeah there's central yep exactly central standard pacific standard and then you got like arizona that doesn't do time change at all and then i think there's another state is it ohio i think that like half of the state does daylight savings time and then half of the state doesn't and then like so it's just weird i don't know but i don't keep track of it all so but, um, yeah, thanks, guys, for tuning in. I'm going to go ahead and uh, head out. Like I said, we've got some shopping and things to do today. But I'm taking the drone with me, and we'll be testing out these cool new props. So look for the video on that for next week. And my guy in Boulder, if you watch this video, hopefully in the next couple hours here, um, send me a comment in the video if you want. And hopefully we can get together if you're not busy. And then, um, oh, Rob, um, we're going to do it around 2 or 3 o'clock tomorrow. I know you said in the afternoon is better for you. So if that's good, that'd be great. I'd appreciate that. 
Um, so yeah, so that's all I got for you guys. Um, so look forward to doing some videos for you guys next week. Um, I'm going to try and do an FBV video for Monday. Um, and then we're going to do our normal Wednesday and Friday videos. I'm not sure what I've got coming up, but uh, we're going to be doing some different stuff. And uh, I haven't done any mods or upgrades on the Promark yet, but one of my viewers, Richard, um, you know who you are. You sent me the email. He sent me this really cool thing, guys, and I'm going to try and go find it at the um, hardware store. Um, they are little, basically like um, on the Promark drone. You know how you put the wings down and you've got that little stupid plastic connector on the top and then you got the little screw for the plastic connector. Um, so he found these little, um, I don't know what they're called, they're, they basically go over the uh, the axle or whatever you want to call it, that metal part, and then they got Allen screws instead of those stupid little screws. And, and he showed me in a picture that he took. So I'm going to try and find those and then make a video on that for you guys because I think that's actually a better idea having those. They would stay a lot better um, than just those crummy little plastic ones that they give you because those can burn up over time. So, but anyway, all right, enough ranting and enough uh, uh, going on with the video. So again, thank you to Dwinnable for the um, donation of $10. I appreciate that for the super chat. And again, um, congratulate uh, Kite FBV. Check out his channel. Um, he has, I think he's only got one video up. But he does a lot of cool FPV. He's a really nice guy. And I'm going to be doing an interview with him hopefully next week, depending on his schedule. Um, and I'm, I want to try, if I can, do an interview with Jesse Perkins. I know he just did a big interview with Josh Bardwell. So I don't want to bug him too much. And he's usually always at the Tiny Whip races every week. And he's a really awesome guy. He's just really super down to earth. Um, you can go up to him and just ask him any kind of questions like I'm building my new tiny whoop and I just ask some questions for him about what I should get components and things like that and he's just a really awesome super cool guy um, tinywhoop.com is in Loveland Colorado which is just up the road from me not too far so yeah he's just a really cool guy he's awesome everybody at the multi GP for Fort Collins is really really super cool everybody uh, so guys if you're interested in drone racing and you want to meet more FPVers um, and things like that go to multigp.com because there's probably a flight club near you um, now you may have to drive an hour or two hours to get to it but I guarantee if you go there if you have questions just if you want to learn more about FPV racing if you have questions Go there and talk to them because they're all really super nice. And, and this hobby is all about sharing it with each other and helping us each other out with our builds and, and questions and troubleshooting. And that's what this channel is all about. It's about you guys. And uh, it's about my love for drones and sharing my love for drones with you guys. Um, and, of course, without you guys watching the videos and supporting my channel, um, uh, there wouldn't be a channel. So... You know, this is all about you guys, and, and again, I just love sharing my love for drones and uh, sharing with you guys and doing reviews, and, and yeah, the little bit of money that comes in is helpful from YouTube, but it's more about making the videos for you guys, um, because I just love sharing this hobby with you guys, and hopefully this next year I can do some more meetups with some people locally. I would love to be able to travel out of state. That's just not in my budget just yet. Um, but hopefully we'll see and uh, we do actually have a like three or four guys from Colorado that are down in Sebring right now Sebring, Florida. They're having a huge drone race for multi GP I think the first place winner um, for the singles is $20,000 and for the team There's a team match as well And that's $20,000 for the winner of that as well and then they have prizes all below that so hopefully in this next year or so, I can get better at doing drone racing and then um, start entering in some of those cool races. Um, the Tiny Whoop race that I'm going to be doing next month is the first like official real drone race that I'm be doing. So um, yeah, we'll see how that goes. But anyway, guys, uh, again, uh, enough of the, uh, I, sometimes I get scatterbrained and I start talking about random stuff. So, but uh, thank you guys for showing up. Thank you for watching the video. Thank you for supporting my channel. I really appreciate it. And uh, if you can become a patron, even a buck a month really helps out the channel, helps me, you know, do so much more. And um, yeah, so thank you guys. Check that out. And uh, I'll put 
link for everything after I uh, process the video. So guys, in the meantime, while you're waiting for my next video, let's keep our drones up in the air and flying high. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you for hanging out with me today. Have an awesome day.